Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a single geode shirt. I've prepped the shirt the way I normally do, and I've turned the shirt inside out. I'm only going to put one single geode on the shirt, and I'm going to have the center of the geode be up on the shoulder of the shirt. I'm finding the area of the shirt where I'd like the center of the geode to be, and I'm going to pinch that area, lift the shirt up off of the table, and start tying from the bottom. Just like a natural geode, I'm going to add rings to my geode, and to do that, I'm going to use sinew. Sinew is a wax-coated string, and when I pull the sinew really tight, the wax will lock down on itself and form a waterproof barrier where the dye can't get underneath. That'll add some white lines into my geode and make it look more natural. I'm going to vary the distance between all the lines in the geode as I continue tying toward where I want the center of my geode to be. When I get close to the center area, I want to make sure I don't make this portion too perfect. I don't want this geo to end up looking like a bullseye. Okay, so I want to make an orange geode, but to do nothing but orange in the shirt is going to be a little overwhelming. So I'm going to mix in a few other colors. I'm using a deep yellow, and then I'm going to use several like earth tone colors like browns and beiges. But first, I need to make myself an ice barrier to keep all of the dye and the ice on top of the shirt. For that, I'm gonna use my silicone cake molds, and I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased these, along with links for several of the other items that I use when I tie dye. I'm placing the silicone cake molds around the shirt, and then I'm gonna use some wooden clothespins and attach them to the rack to hold the silicone cake molds up close to the shirt. So all of the dye colors that I'm going to use on this shirt are Dharma Trading Company colors, with the exception of Golden Oak, which is a pro chemical and dye color. I've lined them up on my rack in the order in which I'm going to use them, but I'm going to apply them randomly to several of the sections on the shirt. I'm beginning with deep yellow, followed by golden brown, tangerine, the golden oak that is the prochemical color, orange sorbet, deep orange, chamois, and terracotta. I'm not going to apply the ecru right now. I'll use that color in just a little while.
On this really large section, I'm actually going to try putting two colors on this one area. I'm going to use a little bit of chamois and a little bit of terracotta. Now I'm adding a little bit of additional soda ash over the top of the die, and I'm going to load on the ice. Over the top of the ice is where I'm going to use the ecru, which is also a Dharma Trading Company color. I add that to the top of the ice to kind of fill in any holes that I might have in between the die and to give a little extra dimension to my geode. Then I'm going to set the shirt aside and allow the ice to melt. After the first layer of ice melted, there was still some dye left sitting on top, so I went ahead and added a second layer, and after it melted, I allowed the shirt to process for at least 24 hours. Then to rinse the shirt, I started in cold water to rinse out the soda ash, untied the shirt, and then gradually warmed the water up to hot to rinse out any of the dye that didn't react with the shirt. When the water was almost clear, I put the shirt into the washing machine and I washed it using a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent in a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So what do you guys think? I think this shirt turned out looking really cool. I really like it. I don't use orange and yellow as the primary color on tie-dye a whole lot. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, I like those colors, but neither of those colors look particularly great on me. So I think that's the reason why I don't use them a whole lot. But this one I think turned out looking really cool. I like the color combination of adding the deep yellow into the shirt. For some reason, my eyes keep being drawn to those deep yellow lines. And then I like the tangerine in the shirt too. That color tends to lean a little bit more toward the red family. And I like that. I think it gives a little pop in the shirt. Then of course I like the browns in this shirt because I think browns tend to have a whole lot of interesting color splits. In fact, there's just a lot of color variation in general in this shirt. There are a lot of really good color splits and then the depth of color is really good. There's some light areas and dark areas in each one of the sections. So overall, I really like this shirt, but what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know if you like this shirt. Do you use a lot of orange? And if so, you know, what are some of your favorite designs to use orange on? I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and try to find new ways to use colors that I rarely use. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day.